Welcome back to the second day of our summer Bible study on the book of Psalms. So we're going to continue on with Psalm 8. And again, it's a, it comes from this place of wonder and this place of, you know, gratitude. And I think both of those play into the, the being able to look out at this world and accept it as a gift, but then also to be, be humble about our place within it. And so that is where the, where the psalmist takes us today. So the psalm says, When I look at the, your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have established, what are human beings that you are mindful of them? Mortals that you care for them? You know, we live in a world in which, you know, different than the, uh, the ancient world, you know, the ancient world looked up at the stars and was amazed by the complexity of it. And, and they spent a lot of time looking up at the night sky and, and tracking the movement of the individual stars and, and the planets. And, you know, they saw a lot more of the night sky, I think, than we do because of electric lights. But on, on our side, we live in a world in which we know the distances between the stars, even the distance between us and the moon. And although we've sent a rocket ship to the moon, several times, it's a massive endeavor. And so I think for us, we can, you know, as we, as we look at things like black holes and, and distant stars and galaxies and the, the multiple galaxies throughout the universe, we, we get a sense of how massive this, uh, this universe really is and how small we are in the midst of it. And I think that's the, that's the exact um, feeling of this psalm. When I look at the stars, when I look at the moon, when I look at the heavens that you've created, and how small we are in the midst of it, how is it that you care about us? But, but that's the witness of our faith, is that God does care, that we do matter to God, and that, you know, the this incredible universe that God has made, full of all kinds of mysteries which we're still beginning to understand and discover, and which I believe, you know, generations from now, if God willing, we'll still be looking at and discovering. You know, there is so much to be in awe of and to, to look out and just admire the, the scale and the, the beauty and, you know, the, the contrast and all that, that goes into this and to be able to say, you know, this is incredible, and, and yes, we can feel very small in it, or we can say, you know, this is the wonder that God has made and God has placed us within. And yes, we can wonder, well, why is it that you, why is it that we matter? But also, we can celebrate at the same time that we do. That God does take interest in, in mere mortals. That God does watch over us and that God does come to draw near to us. And so again, it's that, it's that sense of dwelling in and wonder and awe of, you know, here is this incredible universe that God has made. And at the same time, here are we as small and insignificant as our lives may be. And yet they matter to God too. We'll be back tomorrow with uh, verse 5 from Psalm 8.